Hello, this is Tully Andrews and welcome to TD's Travel Channel Asia Edition. The Tourism Authority of Thailand has announced plans to launch a seven-month campaign to attract more transit tourists and stopover visitors to Bangkok. The Amazing Thailand Stopover Campaign will be launched at ITB Berlin in March 2011 and continue until September 2011. The main campaign will comprise several elements including special tour packages targeted at specific market segments, special offers for tour operators and passengers and a major advertising and PR drive. It's intended to tap into the estimated 1.5 million passengers passengers who transit through Bangkok's Wanapum International Airport each year. Although the TAT has offered stopover tours before, they were designed mainly for those transiting at Bangkok Airport for less than 24 hours. The new campaign will be supported by several local operators including national carrier Thai Airways. Indonesia has reacted angrily to an announcement by New Seven Wonders that the Komodo National Park may be expelled from its list of finalists. The online campaign, which has spent the past three years trying to find the New Seven Wonders of nature, has threatened Komodo with expulsion from the list from what it calls certain legal commitments not being honoured. Indonesia reportedly refused to host an event to declare the contest winners scheduled for later this year. The country's culture and tourism minister Jero Wakik said that Indonesia had declined the request due to the 45 million US dollar price tag and that the new Seven Wonders was now trying to punish Indonesia. Komodo's national park has made it through to the final 28 shortlist along with other natural wonders such as Halong Bay, the Grand Canyon, Great Barrier Reef and the Maldives. Bali is aiming to welcome as many as 2.8 million international visitors in 2011. The Bali Statistical Centre said that the Indonesian resort island is planning to increase its tourism arrivals from 2.57 million in 2010 to between 2.6 and 2.8 million this year, an increase of up to 9%. Hotel occupancy levels are expected to rise from 61% last year to 65% in 2011. In other news, the China Pavilion, which has reopened following the end of the World Expo in Shanghai, has now extended its opening hours. Visitors will now be able to access the pavilion until 8pm instead of 5pm previously. Over the recent Spring Festival weekend, the China Pavilion attracted almost 50,000 people with the World Expo's familiar long queues returning to the site. The Art Science Museum at Marina Bay Sands, Singapore will host a Genghis Khan exhibition from the 17th of February to the 10th of April 2011. The 1,500 metre square exhibition will feature the largest collection of Genghis Khan artefacts ever assembled, as well as recreating the gas sands and battlegrounds of 13th century Mongolia. More than 200 authentic treasures of the Mongol Empire will be on display in Singapore, which will be the first Asian country to host the event. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.